Good day again, Room 10. Uh, I'm going to give you a short video on how to use some of the other features of the iPod. Once again, you could turn it on using the clip down there, just kind of slide it on. Now, I've already gone over the spelling program with you. I've gone over the Doodle Buddy with you. That's two of the main things that you're going to have. Uh, another thing that you're going to have up here is called videos. Now, if you hit the video up here, what you're going to see, and you can hold it either way. Now, these are videos from something um, called Schoolhouse Rock. You'll have a video on prepositions, conjunctions, interjections, uh, adverbs, nouns, prepositions, um, subject and predicate and adjectives so the most common one is going to be conjunction junction and many people know this one and you just kind of push that and this will kind of show you uh, on the side of the iPod over here is going to be your volume connections so if you hit it and you can either make it louder or you can make it quieter you're going to have your earphones in because if you don't you're going to annoy people that are next to you and usually I stop people from using their iPod if they don't have earphones you, we have earphones in the back to use, but they're not yours permanently. They're for uh, people who don't have headphones that day or non-working headphones. You are required to have headphones. Let me go ahead and close that off. So once again, if you want to get back to your menu, just kind of hit the bottom button and it'll go up. Now, the other thing is going to be music and let me see if it's on this one or it's on the next one if you want to this is how you get to other areas like i said uh there's a fun game in here is you not everybody's gonna have anything another thing that you're going to use a lot is a thesaurus on mondays when you go look up words you'll be able to hit a thesaurus and the source is a way of of loading other words that you need to look for so this has both a thesaurus and a um, dictionary in it. You're going to use the uh, your book to look up your words, but you can use a thesaurus. Remember, you're going to use words that apply to the story. Don't just pick up a word because you feel like it. So let's um, enter the word think. We got T H. I N K think so here you're gonna see it's going to give you antonyms and synonyms and it'll say right here if it's a synonym or these all seem to seem to be a bunch of synonyms And in red, they're going to have antonyms. So in order to think about something, the opposite would be to forget or think back or think out. So you have to apply, when we ask you for antonyms and synonyms, you have to apply a word that goes with the story. Don't just pick something to, so you can shout it out to the teacher. Think about what you're doing. This is now a thinking process. These are mini computers, and this is what you have to use them for. So another thing is going to be the thesaurus. So another thing, oh, okay, this one is down here at the bottom, is music. Every single story that you have in open court is going to be in here. Um, and if you go to, our, I believe it's artist, let me see here, it's going to go to open court. And open court is going to have, here's open court unit 6, unit one right now we're in unit two and this is going to give you every single story in unit two so here's the boy who didn't believe in spring 
So on a on a Friday, uh, once you get done, or on a Thursday, looking up your uh, uh, questions, there are some green and white five connectors uh, patches that are in the back that Mrs. Clark or myself will give you access to, and you can one person will take out their iPod, and everybody can connect. You'll take out your book and read, and you can follow along to the story. We're going to be reading a story called. The Boy Who Didn't Believe in Spring. Follow along in your book as I read the story out loud. Remember to turn... So this will give you every single story and every single... And once again, that is music. And uh, you can use a back hour to go back. And once again, if you go under artists, you'll find all everything under open court. And you'll find units... Uh, there's unit six, one, two, three, four. The only unit that we're not going to do this year is unit five, and that unit is excluded from here. And if we need to, we can always add it in if we get to the end of the year and we find out that we need it. We need it. There are going to be things in here for fun, and a lot of them. Uh, Star Maker is the most popular, and you can. This is only when you have free time. You're not supposed to just go to free time when you're done. You have to have, you have to do your work before you have free time. If you're a person that goes to free time before doing your work, you are going to lose your iPod, guaranteed. Uh, a favorite of my students in the past has been Star Maker, where you. Um, have to uh, uh, go along with the game, and once you once you see it, you'll figure out how to play it. Uh, there are some math programs in here that you'll like. Some addition programs. There is a uh, clock program. Uh, there's also in here. I have to find it again. So there's how there's how to tell time. You might want to work with that. There's another one up here called Stackers, where you can work with numbers. There's a science one in here, Brain Pop. Uh, this one, Times Table, you can work with that. But some of it, somehow it turns to Japanese. You won't be able to read it, but you can work with it. There's also a Spelling Hangman that you can play with later. Grammar Jammers, which is pretty good if you want to work with your grammar. You're not going to get a lot of free time, but you will get free time. But we will ask you... Uh, you're not here to download programs. Do not add anything to the iPod. I don't want anybody downloading Angry Birds. If you download Angry Birds, we had a virus last year. One person downloaded Angry Birds and it went to every other computer and it had a virus in it. Yes, Apple's king of viruses and it messed up everybody's computer. So everybody lost their iPods for about two weeks before I can get them back. Please be very, very careful for what you do. Uh, there are a couple of, there's one where you can make a, a story kit maker, you can make your own stories. Uh, there's lots of math programs in here. Uh, you'll be using the thesaurus from time to time. Uh, Grammar Dragon is pretty good. Uh, math quiz for addition, multiplication, subtraction. Um, App Store, don't worry about that. I'll be up to I'll be updating your stuff, but I don't want you going out to iTunes and trying to download. You're not going to be able to download anything. Once again, keep your photos to a minimum, and when your teacher says put your iPods away, don't wait till the last minute. Take it, put it face down. If Mrs. Clark looks around, or I look around, and I see that you're not listening, you will probably get your iPod taken away. Uh, it's a little bit hard for me to pick it up here right now, so I'm just going to kind of find something to kind of grab it with and pull it up. You have a cover on your iPod, and that is the main thing. But these are some extra things that you can do. Once again, do not put any kind of lock codes on your iPod. Uh, if you find out uh, you have some problems, it's mostly within the settings. You always make sure you don't turn on I, I, airplane mode. It will kill your battery. You're already set up with Wi-Fi. Uh, don't worry about sounds. Uh, you can change your wallpaper through brightness and wallpaper. Uh, there's some other things that you can do in here. Don't worry about it. I'm going to add all the videos you need. 
and this will have some extra stuff that you have in here. No, you're not going to go onto Facebook or Twitter. Don't get don't get excited about that. You're blocked from it. You will not be able to get through. Do not try to take uh, extra photos. And if somebody says stop, stop. Okay, that should do it for today. You got it.